Sometimes I get too serious, and I, I apologize with that. I'm, I'm a no-nonsense kind of guy. I'm so busy that I don't have time to play around sometimes here, and uh, um, especially with people and attitudes and stuff like that. And I, I, I know it's probably a lack of more compassion that I should have, but through all these years, you know, after a while, you get beat up by people who... Uh, who, who say all kinds of things that are just, they're wackos. I mean, they're people that just are out of touch. And these poor souls need to go out, you know, and life's just going to keep beating them up until they ground themselves. And we try to give as much love as we can to everybody. We're here to help you. We're never here to hurt anybody. We've never hurt anybody as far as I know. Uh, some people might think that in detox and stuff, but it's like, excuse me. Some people don't get the results as fast as they would like. Well, hello. Some people, it's very bad. You know, how bad do you want me to tell you you are? You know, I try to uh, sometimes sugarcoat things, but nowadays I'm pretty much telling you like it is. If you got years ahead of you, I'm going to tell you. Uh, for years ago, I never would say that. You know, Dr. Jensen used to say when you tell them about their iris, I only tell them four things that's wrong with them. <laughs> I said, well, Doc, I kind of... I kind of, you know, I've made people cry before. I said, I, I understand where you're coming from. I said, but uh, I'm generally late, truthful, right, all, right with everything. You know, when I'm doing an Irish report, I'm going to go head to toe and I'm going to pretty much tell you what I see. What you have to realize is separate you from your body, you know. When I first saw my eyes in iridology, I just went, oh, damn. You know, because, you know, they weren't, they weren't the strong constitutions that of all these people that I see out there. But, you know, <laughs> yoga shot, I like that. Yeah, if acid is the problem, why do you think of drinking some baking soda? Well, Kathy's got the, the uh, and you might find it online, but we have a certain recipe for that. We generally recommend it people that have high acidosis, like in cancer cases and things. It, it, it isn't the remedy that you read about where suddenly your cancer is gone when you take it, but it certainly is helpful, you know. But in reality, moving lymph is the key because in all cancer cases, what's the gig? The gig is that your lymph system ain't moving well. Your cells have been damaged by acids that haven't been able to get out and be carried away. So intracellular acidosis is really the issue here. Uh, even though we just kind of keep it simple and say acidosis. But um, uh, it can be helpful, uh, the acceleration of bringing in alkaline chemistry. But remember the kidneys and the adrenals. Those are the babies that have to be fixed to get this lymph filtering properly. And this is all about lymph filtering. You can't rebound, you can't uh, 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 lymph drainage, you can't do these things without good filtration of the kidneys and adrenals and be successful. You got to really work on the kidneys and adrenals. And you guys are seeing this more and more and more as you go through this. Oh, uh, good comment on the uh, complete proteins. Uh, uh, Monica? Yeah, uh, good, good comment. Absolutely. No animal eats. I mean, you might see the lions eat complete protein in the sense of dead tissue, but they're the stinkiest. They're the least endurance. Anything that eats high protein diets are the sickest on the planet. You can see that everywhere you turn. The healthiest, strongest animals don't eat proteins. They eat simple amino acid structures. That's all your body can use anyway. That's pretty simple. I think this idea of protein, people have to get beyond that sort of thinking. I don't know what uh, ad yet clarity is. I don't. I don't know what uh, what that is. Uh, you've seen it on the YouTube, uh, but if it's a sulfur compound, holy crap! I think I showed you some eyes yesterday of sulfur, but I got lots of them with sulfur in them. I do never recommend you take sulfur compounds ever for anything. And if they're using that in this, no way. This fascination with sulfur is ridiculous. It has two major problems besides creating a, a sort of acid reflux syndrome through the bowel, we could loosely call IBS, but uh, it is a major lymph suppressor. Sulfur compounds are, are cumulative. They don't leave the body well, and they cause a lot of fungus problems, a lot of uh, fungal problems. Miss Malone, yes, ma'am, I'd be very careful. You have green eyes uh, that was blue. Yeah, so you have green eyes that once were blue. See, your lymph system is getting worse and worse and worse. And they'll go back to... Uh, oh, okay. 
uh, they'll go back to that blue when you clean your lymph system out and you'll see your blue color again. Well I'm being pulled away so what I'll do is uh, cut off now and then I'll come back and finish these up. I want to get into limes but I've already addressed limes in a lot of these things. Uh, I know there's so many videos it probably is gonna confusing to go back and back and back but uh, I'll get to these and uh, you all have a beautiful beautiful day as I say and I love you all. Thank you so much and uh, you guys are really coming a long way. I just love it. You guys are kicking butt going forth and uh, appreciate being subscribers to this channel and just remember all this is an educational channel I'm trying to educate and, and that's what it is so thank you very much bye bye love you all